Hey guys, in today's video, we will have the modeling process of another product design. Our playlist with all the models is here on the card above and also in the visual description. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what you'd like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class! Let's start by creating a line. In thickness, we will put the value of 40 and in sides, 32. Let's convert it to editable poly and add 3 loops in the center of the piece. With the FF box modifier, let's increase the length to 5. Now let's stagger the middle lines, leaving the largest shape in the center. Here, we will make some adjustments to make the shape more interesting. Once this is done, we can convert it to editable poly, delete this face and add the modifier to smooth the mesh. Here, we will use the line again to create some cutting piece. Let's do it on both sides. Let's attach and change the color to make it easy to see. We will increase its width and decrease in thickness since the bits are cut. We adjusted this piece a little more. Now let's add the editable poly and create support loops. Let's add it with the connect of heads and on the corners with out one. Finally, you add the open subdivide modifier. Now add a cylinder to create another detail in your model. Let's increase it with it so that it crosses the entire model and then position it correctly. Here, you can feel free to create details with the other geometric shapes. Now we return to the main piece. Let's use boolean to create the cuts with the subtract option. If you want to edit one of the shapes you use it as a cut, simply select it from this list. This way you can see in real time how the shape will create the cut in your piece. Once this is done, we convert it back to editable poly and separate the parts using detach. First, let's work on the shape of the center. I will select the center line of the model and add the retopology modifier. First, let's check the three box below. In face counts, we will put 500. As we can see, it preserves the central line of the model, facilitating the use of symmetry. This way you can choose which of the two sides you will use the mirror of the shape. I'm going to change the color of the piece. Here, we will first use symmetry to have the center line of this piece. As you can see, I select the lines where I want the modifier to preserve. Regardless of the calculation it makes, it will maintain the lines that we are selecting. After the calculation, we can use symmetry again and select the side where the shape has a better topology. Let's do the same in this last piece. Remembering, 
select the center line of the part and then add the head topology modifier. Enter the following face counts and remember to check the three box below. Let's add the symmetry and cover it to editable poly. Returning to the central piece, we will create the upper part of the model. I'm going to create something very simple just using shift to extrude and position the shape. Let's add a chamfer to these heads. And add some support loops to hold the shape. The same in this upper part. Finally, we will create a very simple lid to finish the upper part. Remember to add the modifier to smooth the mesh. In this middle part, we will also create a chamfer on this edge. And on the other edge, we will create a double chamfer. At the bottom, we will hold the shift and close the shape with scale. And also with the chamfer leaving the edge smooth. Finally, add the modifier to smooth the mesh. On the side, we'll just add some new chamfer on the edges. I will adjust its position so that it's more inside the model. On the other side, we will also adjust its position and also add a chamfer to the edges. To finish, we will add the FFZ modifier, we will rotate the base so that it is entire this part of the model and finally reduce the scale a little on this axis. And ready! The model is finished. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye. Subscribe to the channel. It's very important.